<laughs> Happy Easter, children! Ooh, ooh, oops! Ooh. <laughs> Happy Easter, Mama <laughs> Peppa and her friends are doing lots of Easter activities today. Today, I have a very special visitor for you. Miss Rabbit! Hello, children. The Easter Bunny sent me to play some Easter games with you. <gasps> Hooray! But first, we need to make you all honorary Easter Bunnies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see you're already an honorary Easter Bunny. <laughs> Now, who'd like to decorate some Easter eggs? Hooray! Peppa and her friends are painting wooden eggs. Remember, children, you can decorate your Easter egg however you like. <laughs> Hello, Mr Egg. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh dear, Aww. it looks like Danny Dog was given a real egg by mistake. Danny, what happened to your egg? Well, I think I painted it a bit too hard. <laughs> Good job I brought a spare. <laughs> All right, bunnies, follow me. <laughs> Peppa and her friends have come outside to play a special Easter game. Now, we're going to play bunny bowling. Roll your eggs along the ground and see how many bunny pins you can knock down. Oh. <gasps> Good try, Mr Egg. Like you all win! Yay! Yay! Well done, everybody. You've all earned a special Easter <gasps> medal. Yay! And best of all, these medals are made of chocolate. Mmm. <gasps> 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 <Yay! laughs> Mm. Is there a prize for eating the most chocolate too? Peppa and her friends love Easter very much indeed. <laughs> a super strike for a super bowler. Today, Susie Sheep is having a bowling party. <laughs> I want to get a super strike too. I know how to do it. I've been bowling lots of times. Then you can show everyone what to do, Peppa. OK. We should take our pictures for the scoreboard. <laughs> Just step in front of the camera and say cheese. Cheese! Perfect. This is your bowling lane. Ooh. Now you shoot the bowling ball. Then you throw it straight ahead, like this. Yay! <laughs> Yay! I'm going to try. I like this one. The pink ball is very heavy. <laughs> try this one instead. It's lighter. Whoa! Crikey! Anyone lost a ball? Oh, no. I'll try next. Oh. Pedro Pony's ball has gone into the gutter at the side of the lane. Whoops! My turn. Whoa! Susie Sheep, Pedro Pony and Gerald Giraffe haven't quite got the hang of bowling yet. Don't worry. We need to find a better way to play. Hmm. Why don't you try with the barriers up this time? It's another fun way to play. Now you try.
try, Pedro. OK, but I don't want my bowling ball to bounce. No problem. You can use a ramp to help the ball roll in a straight line. <laughs> oh, this is fun! <laughs> Yay! Peppa and her friends are having lots of fun bowling in their own ways. But Susie Sheep still wants to get a super strike. All right, everyone. It's your last bowl. Good luck. <laughs> What's this? Susie Sheep is bowling backwards. Oh. <gasps> a super strike for a super bowler. <laughs> Susie Sheep has got a super strike. Susie Sheep loves bowling. Everyone loves bowling. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her friends are at a go-kart track. Hello, everybody. Who's ready to race go-karts? Me! 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 Oh! Peppa and her friends put on their race suits. Red is my favourite colour. And don't forget your safety helmets. Now, let's pick your go-karts. Yay! <laughs> Danny Dog has put his helmet on backwards. <laughs> now, the pedals make the go-kart go. And the brakes make it stop. And the steering wheel helps the go-kart turn. Whee! It's just like riding a bike. Why don't you all give it a try and start pedalling slowly? I drive a big car all the time. A go-kart should be easy. Whoa! Whoa! Oh dear, I think I went a little bit too fast. Now... How do I turn around? <laughs> <laughs> the go-kart race has begun. <laughs> this is fun! But Susie Sheep is pedalling backwards. Try pedalling forward, Susie. Forward? Oh! <laughs> Woohoo! Danny Dog is pedalling very quickly. <laughs> Remember to use the brake, Danny. <laughs> Mummy Pig is having trouble making her go-kart go. Let's see. This makes it go backwards. Do you need help, Mummy Pig? Oh, no thank you, Miss Rabbit. I'm sure I can do it. My go-kart is too wiggly. Pepper is driving all over the racetrack. Turn the steering wheel more gently, Peppa. Oh, much better. Peppa and her friends like driving around the racetrack in their go-karts. There we go. Whee! And Mummy Pig has finally got her go-kart moving. <laughs> Time's up! Well done, everybody! Hooray! But the go-kart race has finished. Oh. Peppa and her friends love racing go-karts. Hey! Hi! <laughs> Whoops! Sorry, everyone! Today, Peppa and Mummy Pig have come to Miss Rabbit's yoga class. Namaste, everyone! Uh, Namaste oh. is how you say hello in a yoga class. Please take off your shoes and find a mat. Does anyone know what yoga is? Is it where you balance on one leg? Or when you bend into funny shapes? Almost. Yoga is a fun kind of exercise that helps you feel zen. Hmm. Which means relax. Oh. Oh, we'd like to be zen. Please. Mm -hmm. 
Let's start with some breathing. Everyone close your eyes and breathe in slowly through your nose. One, two, three. And out through your mouths. One, two, three. Everyone is finding breathing One, two, very relaxing. Three, but and Emily and out. her mummy's trunks One, two, are making little three. whistle sounds. <laughs> now let's do some stretching. Reach up high into the sky. <laughs> and bend down and touch your toes. <laughs> Peppa, Danny and Emily are all very good at stretching. But the grown-ups are finding it a little trickier. You're very good at yoga, Mr Bull. I've had lots of practice. And relax. <sighs> Everyone lay down on your front, then lift your chest up. This is called Cobra Pose. Oh. Is this right? That's perfect. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't need to do the sounds. Now place your hands and feet on the ground and your hips up as high as you can, like this. This oh. is called Downward Dog. <laughs> That's perfect, Danny. You're a natural. <laughs> Finally, everyone stand up straight Put your hands together and lift one leg to the other leg. This is called tree pose. Peppa loves all the poses. <laughs> but balancing is quite hard. <laughs> Sorry, Miss Rabbit. My tree was a bit wobbly. No need to apologise, Peppa. Yoga is to help feel relaxed and zen. And nothing is more relaxing than a good giggle. Peppa loves yoga class. And Peppa really loves love. Hooray! Today, Peppa's playgroup are on a trip to the lake. They are going to row boats. <laughs> Whoops! Sorry, everyone. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello. Are you ready to row boats today? Oh, yes! The rowing boats are just over there. Let's go! Hooray! <laughs> Everyone is wearing life jackets and helmets to keep them safe on the boats. You all look ready to get going. Yes! <laughs> Pepper, Susie and Pedro, you'll be in the red rowing boat with me and Grumpy Rabbit. And Mandy, Emily and Danny will be in the blue rowing boat with me and Captain Dog. Quick! To row the boat, you have to put this special stick called an oar in the water and pull like this. Heave! Ho! Now you try. Everyone is very excited to row the boats themselves. But no one is working together. Why isn't the boat moving, Miss Captain Rabbit? Everyone needs to row together all at once, like this. When I say heave, we push. And when I say ho, we pull. <laughs> Let's all try together. Heave, ho! Well done! Hooray! The boat is moving along the water. Everyone is working together as a team. Heave, ho! Everyone is having lots of fun rowing their boats, but it is almost time to go home. Time to row back to shore now, children. Your parents have come to collect you. Squeak, can we race to the shore? A wonderful idea, Mandy. Is everyone ready? Ready! On your marks, get set, go! Everyone is 
rowing as fast as they can back to the shore. Peppa is helping her friends row as a team. Weave on. <laughs> Weave low. Um, believe go. Almost there. It's neck and neck. It's a draw. Well done, children. Everyone loves rowing boats and everyone loves working as a team. Today is sports day at Peppa's playgroup. There is a pink team and a blue team. They're trying to win gold medals. I'm going to win! Oh, uh, whoops! Rebecca Rabbit is finding the sack race quite difficult. Emily Elephant on the pink team has won the sack race. Hooray! You're so fast! Squeak! Oh no! I lost! You did your best! And we can still win! Oh. Now it is time for the egg and spoon race. Faster, Pepper! Squeak! But Pepper is finding it difficult to run fast and balance her head. Peppa, don't drop the egg. Okay. <laughs> Slow down, Danny. But don't go too slow. Slower, faster, slower, no faster. <laughs> <laughs> no! Phew! <laughs> we did it! We won the race! It's a draw between the two teams. The next game is ring toss. Whichever team hooks the most rings onto the wooden stick will win sports day. That's one point for each team. <laughs> Another point for each team. It's still a draw. Rebecca and Freddy, it's your turn. But if I miss... We'll lose. Oh, don't worry about winning. Just do your best. And have lots of fun. <coughs> yeah. 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 We lost. Squeak. But we had a lot of fun anyway. You're right, Peppa. Well done, Pink Team. You get gold medals. <laughs> and the Blue Team did really well too. So they get silver medals. Wow! The Pink Team and the Blue Team love Sports Day. Everyone loves Sports Day. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her friends have come to a special adventure park. Come on, Edmund, you can do it. It's really fun! Whoa! <laughs> oh, oh, well done, Edmund. <gasps> this room has a balance beam. You have to walk across it without falling into the ball pit. If you all keep working as a team, you'll get all the way through without falling into the ball pits. I'm good at balancing. Follow me. Now, George, Pepper and Edmund Elephant must cross the balance beam. But Edmund is finding the balance beam a bit difficult. Try going sideways, Edmund. We can do it together. Hooray! 
everyone has made it across the balance beam. Now they must swing across this room. This looks tricky. It's just like the swing in the park, Emily. Watch this. Whee! Peppa is very good at swinging. Hooray! Hold on tight, George. <laughs> Here you go, Edmund. But Edmund Elephant is feeling a little nervous about it. Why don't we go together, Edmund, as a team? Good idea! Whee! Hooray! We did it! Thank you, Emily. Everyone has made it across the big swing. Good teamwork, everyone. One room to go. <laughs> this is the final Whoa. room, but there is no way across the ball pit. We can't jump that far. And there's nothing to swing on. Ho, ho, ho. This room is a bit of a puzzle. <gasps> Nobody knows how to solve the puzzle and get across. Oh. I've got it. But Edmund Elephant is very <gasps> good at puzzles. <laughs> I'm a clever clogs, you know. <laughs> Everyone has made it through the adventure park. That was very clever, Edmund. Edmund? And Edmund Elephant can't wait to do it all over again. <laughs> Today, Peppa and George are at a fun fair. <laughs> Hi, Peppa. Have you been in the fun house yet? What's a fun house? It's a special fun fair house that has lots of silly rooms and funny hallways. <laughs> Can me and George go into the fun house, please? Please. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Two for the fun house. To enter the fun house, Mummy Pig must buy tokens from Miss um... Rabbit. But the tokens cost more coins than Mummy Pig thought. Oh. Thank you, Mummy Pig. Right this way. <laughs> Yay! Ooh! This is the rickety rackety bridge. Pass through to see the rest of the fun house. <laughs> Peppa is moving very slowly and carefully across the bridge. But George thinks it's fun to go very fast. <laughs> Your way is much better, George. Whee! <laughs> Congratulations! Now you need to follow the arrows. This way, George. <laughs> <laughs> These mirrors are so wobbly. The funhouse mirrors make Peppa and George look very silly indeed. This mirror makes me look so tall. And you look like you have a very big head, George. <laughs> that one makes you look really round. Round! And this mirror makes me look like Miss Rabbit. That's because I am Miss Rabbit. <gasps> Follow me to the twisty, turny tunnel. <laughs> the funhouse tunnel spins round and round. Ooh! And it's very windy. <laughs> Look! After the tunnel, we get to go down the slide. Yay! <laughs> I'll help you, George. <laughs> I wonder what's taking so long. I hope they're not lost. <laughs> How was it? The fun house was really fun. How fitting. Everyone loves the fun house because the fun house is very... Oh, another apple. Oh. Uh. By the power of vegetables, I am here! One moment! Whoa. Uh, now, I am here! Wow! It is I, 
the superest superhero ever. And I've come here to teach you all how to be superheroes, too. Hooray! Peppa and her playgroup are all dressed as superheroes. Your first lesson of superhero school is to use your superhero powers to do something kind for the world. <gasps> Susie is being kind to the worm by helping to dig its hole. Freddy is being kind to the plant by watering it. And Pepper is being kind to the whole world by making sure all the rubbish is recycled and not on the floor. You all did so well in your first lesson. The next lesson in superhero school is to finish this obstacle course and save Madame Gazelle from the supervillains. On your marks, get set, go! But everyone is too tired to run. We're all puffed out. Why can't we run fast and be super strong? Aren't we superheroes? Hmm. I've got it. Has anyone had any fruits or vegetables today? Mm -hmm. I didn't want to eat my carrots today. And I left my apple in my lunchbox. Aha! Fruits and vegetables help us stay healthy and give us super energy. Superheroes ah. must have lots of energy to run and jump. Madame Gazelle has set up a table with plates of delicious fruits and vegetables to eat. Peppa and her friends have eaten their fruits and vegetables. Now they have lots of super energy and are ready to try again. We're here to save you! My heroes! My super heroes! Congratulations! You have all been super today! And every superhero gets a hero's reward. What would you like? Are there any more carrots? By the power of fruits and vegetables, Peppa and her playgroup have saved the day. Peppa and her friends are going to play on the seesaw. <laughs> Problem, Mr. Bull. Just finishing fixing the seesaw, Daddy Pig. <laughs> there, now it's safe as houses and ready to go. Hooray! Pepper loves playing on the seesaw. Will you play with me, Mr. Bull? It's fun. Me? Why not? It is fixed and ready after all. Wee! <laughs> <laughs> well, that was fun. How are you going to get down? You need to go up so Peppa can come down. Oh, like this? Whee! <laughs> Mr. Bull is stuck at the bottom of the seesaw. Mr. Bull is a grown-up and Peppa is small, so the seesaw won't balance. You need something heavy on Peppa's side. Blimey, how do you know that? I am a clever clonks. <laughs> Righto then. Peppa's backpack will make ah. her heavier. Ah. <laughs> up, 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 up. <laughs> Whee! Whee! Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we are as high as the clouds. <laughs> Mr. Bull is still stuck oh. at the bottom of the seesaw. I suppose it's good fun at the bottom, too. What a cracking view of the grass. <laughs> <laughs> we need another grown-up to play with Mr. Bull. Meow. Hmm. I wonder where we can find another grown-up. You're a grown-up, Daddy. Oh, yes, so I am. I'll play with you, Mr. Bull. Ah. Yay! Whoa! 
<laughs> Daddy Pig and Mr. Bull are both grown-ups. So the seesaw is balanced and goes up and down. Stop! Are you not having fun, Mr. Bull? I'm having a brilliant time. I just wanted to see the view. Okie dokie, let's go! Whee! Up into the sky! Hello, sun! Hello, grass! Hello, clouds! <laughs> Hello, pepper! Are volcanoes real, Madam Gazelle? They are! Ooh. But do not worry, children. There are no volcanoes close by. Hooray! Except the little pretend ones that we are going to make for today's very special science experiment. Oh! We will make our volcanoes using glue and newspaper. Like this. First, you dip the paper in the glue and then you stick it all to the beaker, and voila, a volcano. Everyone is enjoying making their volcanoes. The glue is very sticky and messy. <laughs> and soon they are all finished. <laughs> Wonderful, children. Now it is time to paint your creations. <laughs> Let's make ours red, Peppa. Ours can be blue. blue. Green, like a big tree. Real volcanoes are dark and grey with red lava. But Peppa and her friends are making their mini volcanoes bright and colourful. <laughs> now it is time for the science experiment. But first, everyone must put on special gloves, glasses and coats to make sure they are safe. You all look like wonderful scientists, children. Now we are ready to make lava. <gasps> but do not worry. The lava we are making is just pretend and very safe. <laughs> First, we add some vinegar to our volcanoes. Be careful not to spill. Uh, uh, <gasps> Perfect. And now I will add a secret magic ingredient to each of your volcanoes. Nobody knows what the special magic ingredient is. Finally, take your cup of baking soda and pour a little inside the volcano. Then stand back. Madame Gazelle's volcano is erupting just like a real volcano. Your turn, children. Hooray! <laughs> wow! The lava is red. Ours <laughs> is blue. Candy Cat and Gerald Giraffe's lava is green and very foamy. Yeah, I think we made too much lava. No, Candy. You made a muddy puddle. Everyone loves making volcanoes, but everyone really loves making colourful muddy puddles. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oof. Oh. Phew! Wow! Oh, oh good day! What's, What's this? this? Today is Arts and Crafts Day at Peppa's Playgroup. I have many fun <gasps> arts and crafts planned for today. First is painting. Ooh. But where are the brushes? They're right here. No one is sure what Madame Gazelle means. Where? <laughs> I don't see anything. We're doing finger painting. Instead of brushes, you paint with your hands. Hooray! Peppa and her playgroup are enjoying making their finger paintings. A lovely flower, Peppa. Thank you, Madam Gazelle. What a wonderful butterfly, Susie. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Gazelle. 
<laughs> and Danny, that's a marvelous puddle. Whoop. Thank you, Madam Gazelle. Whoop. Danny is jumping in his painting just like a real muddy puddle. Ah, brilliant idea, Danny. We'll do face painting next. Everyone is getting their face painted. Susie is a butterfly. Danny is a zebra. Freddie and Emily are a tiger and a fish. And Pepper is green. I'm green. <laughs> oh! That gives me a fantastic idea. Madam Gazelle has brought over a big oh. canvas with tape on it. What's that, Madam Gazelle? Why, it's a beautiful picture, of course. But I don't see a picture. That's because it's not finished. Each of you take a bottle of paint and splatter as much as you like onto this canvas. <laughs> well done, children. Get messy, have fun. Try not to spill on the floor. Everyone is having lots of fun painting on the big canvas. It's beautiful. I love it. Me too. Hmm. But I still don't see a picture. Aha! You will soon, Peppa. Madame Gazelle is taking the tape off the canvas. The tape has made the painting into the shape of... A, a star! star! Peppa yeah! loves the lovely star, and Peppa loves Arts and Crafts Day. Today is Pancake Day at Peppa's Playgroup. Ah! Whoa! It's an ice cream! Can we make other pancake pictures? Yes, we can! We just need more pancake mix. Yay! <laughs> Pepper pours flour into the bowl. Candy Cat adds an egg to the mix. Wow! Danny Dog adds the milk. And Susie Sheep gives everything a good mix. <laughs> Madam Gazelle adds food colouring to the pancake mix so they can make colourful pancake pictures. Now we can draw any pancake picture we like in the cold pan before we cook the pancake. Can you add some pink here, Susie? <laughs> and some more over here? Wow! What is it? Hmm. <laughs> what are you drawing, Madam Gazelle? You'll see. Now the pan will get very hot. So you must step back for this bit, children. <laughs> oh! Peppa! The pancake looks just like Peppa. I'm Peppa Pancake. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm really yummy. Can we make a rainbow next? Why, of course. Peppa and her friends add all the colours of the rainbow. Red. Orange. Yellow. Green. Blue. <gasps> The rainbow pancake. <laughs> no, you haven't. All the blue has created a lovely blue sky. Can Let's make the biggest pancake in the world. Hooray! Baking powder will give us the fluffiest pancake. Just a little will do. Madam Gazelle has added more than a little baking powder. The pancake is getting bigger and bigger. Oh dear! I'm not sure we can eat this, children. Aww. But it makes a great trampoline. Peppa loves Pancake Day. Everyone loves Pancake Day. 
Peppa and Susie are pretending to be police officers. Nino, need police. We'll help yeah. you. <laughs> Thanks, police officers. You're welcome. Now we must get back to solving crimes. Nino, Bye. Nino. Oh, my. What is it, Madam Gazelle? I think my special pen has gone missing. <gasps> this sounds like a mystery. Ah. Don't worry. Me and police officer Susie will solve the case. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are looking for clues to find the special pen. They're using a magnifying glass to make small things look bigger. Aha! Purple. That's the oh. same colour oh. as Danny oh. Dog's T-shirt. <gasps> Have you oh. seen the special pen, Danny? I don't think so. Well, we'd better take you to the police station to ask you some questions. Pepper and Susie have made a pretend police station so they can ask everyone questions about the missing pen. <laughs> it's made from books and pillows. This police station doesn't even have doors. It's a nice place to read, though. Pepper and Susie are asking everybody about the special pen. Oh. They've brought Candy Cat to the pretend police station. Candy Cat, can you Remember what colour the special pen is? Hmm, red? No, green. Actually, pink. No, uh, blue. Aha, uh -huh. you've been very helpful. Let's take a big look around. The special blue pen must be <gasps> hidden somewhere. Pepper and Susie are searching everywhere for the special pen. Ah! Oh, but they can't find it anywhere. I can't find it anywhere. Hmm, I have an idea. Now, Madam Gazelle is answering questions at the pretend police station. When did you last see your pen, Madam Gazelle? Well, let's see. I used it this morning, then I put it behind my ear. Oh, my! Yay! Madam Gazelle's special <laughs> pen has been behind her ear all along. We found it! We solved the mystery! <laughs> Hooray! Thank you for helping me, Peppa and Susie. I think you would make very good police <gasps> officers. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Peppa, the dentist. I'll help you look after your teeth. Whoa! Today, Miss Rabbit has come to teach Peppa's playgroup about teeth. Peppa is pretending she is a dentist. <laughs> Got you. For you. Thank you, Peppa. Well, now that you've caught your teeth, <laughs> who knows what we can do to look after them? Um, um, <laughs> go to the dentist? That's right. Who has been to the dentist before? Me, 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 me. Gerald Giraffe has not been to the dentist before. Can I show Gerald what it's like at the dentist, Miss Rabbit? I've been lots of times. What a great idea. <laughs> Peppa is pretending she is the dentist and Gerald is the patient. Hello, Mr Gerald. Please sit on this enormous chair. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs Dentist. Here is your apron. <laughs> Why do I need glasses, Mrs. Pepper? For this big light. Please open wide like this. Ah! Uh, so I can see your teeth. Ah! Uh... Pepper is using the torch to see Gerald's teeth. You have very nice teeth, Mr. Gerald. So you get a sticker. Thank you. <laughs> Hooray! Well done, Pepper and Gerald. Does anyone know a way we can look after our teeth at home? Um, we can brush our teeth. 
That's right, Susie. Brushing our teeth keeps them clean. Shall we practice brushing our teeth? Yes! Miss Rabbit is giving everyone toothbrushes so they can practice brushing their teeth. First, we get the brush wet. <laughs> then we put some toothpaste on. Everyone is adding little dollops of toothpaste to their toothbrush. But Candy has added a big dollop. Now what do we do, class? We... Brush! <laughs> Remember to brush the front and the shine, tops and bottoms. Well done, everyone. <laughs> everyone did very well today, so everyone gets stickers. Oh, Peppa likes pretending to be a dentist and Peppa really likes stickers. Welcome oh. to the ice cream shop. It is a very hot day, so Peppa and George are playing ice cream shop. Here you go, Mr Daddy Pig. Oh, thank you. What would you like, Mrs Mummy Pig? I'd like a banana split, please. Hooray! Oh. Ooh! What's a banana split, Granny? <laughs> it's a type of dessert. First, we need to cut a banana in half. Nana! Oh! Ho, 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 ho! Now we add ice cream, cherries, and whipped cream. Oh. George oh. likes adding the ice cream. Careful! Don't squish the oh. banana. <laughs> <laughs> And Peppa really likes adding whipped cream. <laughs> Don't forget the cherry on top. Here is your banana split, Mrs. Mummy Pig. <laughs> this looks delicious. Oh, please could I have... A knickerbocker glory. Uh -huh. A knocker glory? What's that, madam? Ho, ho, ho. Uh -huh. It's a type of ice cream sundae. Can you only eat them on Sundays? Oh. Ho, ho. Not that type of sundae. You can eat them any time. Uh -huh. I'll show you. Uh -huh. We need ice cream, fruit, meringue and cream. <laughs> Peppa and George add all the ingredients into the glass. Oh. And now you can decorate the top. Yay! Then decorate with wafers, colourful sprinkles and sauce. Here you are, ah, madam. This looks wonderful. <laughs> now everyone has been served, what kind of ice cream would you two like? Hmm. A rainbow one. Rainbow. Peppa and George use lots of different <laughs> coloured ice cream. Pink for strawberry, brown for chocolate, yellow for <laughs> banana. Nana. Then they add their toppings. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Let's mix it all together. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Peppa and George have mixed all the colours together. We've made a muddy puddle, ah. not rainbow ice cream. I'm afraid we don't have much ice cream left. All we have is vanilla. My favourite. <laughs> Peppa and George like making special ice creams, but they love vanilla ice cream the most. <laughs> Pretty cool, eh, Peppa? <laughs> Daddy, we're getting shoes for George, not you. Oh, yes. Today, George is <laughs> buying some new shoes. Hello, Miss Rabbit. We need some new shoes for George. <laughs> George's shoes are very old. Well, you're in luck. The shoe shop has lots oh. of shoes. We'll find George the perfect pair. Hooray! First, we need to measure your feet. 
Pop your foot in the measurer, please. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is measuring George's feet to help him find shoes that are the right size. Your feet are very small. That's because George is a baby. <laughs> no. George is not a baby. Follow me. <laughs> oh. We keep all our very small shoes over here. Which shoes do you like, George? Shoes! Those are bowling shoes. George loves to go bowling. And he loves bowling shoes. Are you sure you want those shoes, George? <laughs> shoes! Shoes! Those are tap dancing shoes. Very noisy! Oh, no. <laughs> George loves to make lots of noise. Maybe too noisy! <laughs> shoes! They are clown shoes. Uh -huh. <sighs> George oh. loves clown oh. shoes. Whoa. <laughs> They're too big! And George is very small. Oh. Uh, shoes! George tries on lots of shoes. Tall ones. Little ones. And even silly ones. But none of them are quite right. Shoes! Dinosaur! They are slippers, George. They are not shoes. <laughs> shoes! These are just like your old <gasps> shoes. Shoes! George would like <gasps> new shoes <gasps> that are just like <laughs> his old shoes. Jolly good. We'll take them, please, Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit? Phew! I'm under here! Oh. Shoes! <laughs> George loves his new shoes and he loves the shoe shop. Everyone loves the shoe shop. Today, Peppa and her family have come to London to watch Super Potato, the musical. Goodness, we'd better get walking or we'll miss the start of the show. Oh no, we're going to get all wet. Not to worry, we can take the underground train instead. Hooray! The underground train is underground. <laughs> it never rains underground. <laughs> And there is a colourful map that shows where all the trains go. It looks like spaghetti. So, we are here. And we need to get here. We can take the blue train first and then... Take the red train. Yes, well done, Pepper. Off we go! First, Pepper must have her ticket checked by the ticket barrier. <laughs> Thank you, ticket robot. I'm stuck. Hold tight, Peppa. I'll get you out. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. This way, Peppa. Follow the blue line, everyone. Um, I'm stuck too. <laughs> The train is arriving at the platform from a very dark tunnel. The train is very, very busy. Why is everybody rushing? They are in a hurry. Everyone on the underground train is in a hurry. On we go. Watch your step, everyone. Hello, everyone. Welcome aboard the blue train. Mind the doors. Hold on, Pepper. The underground train is very bumpy. <laughs> on your left, you'll see under the ground. And on your right, you'll see even more under the ground. Change here for the red train. The red train? That's us. Watch your step, George. Hold tight, everyone. <laughs> we're here, we're here. 
the show starts in a few minutes, we might miss the beginning. Oh, no, you won't. Follow me. I'll get you to Super Potato the Musical on time, or my name isn't... Super Potato! Hooray! <laughs> Big celebrity coming through! Make way for the star, thank you! <laughs> no autographs today! Super Potato is in a hurry, too. Everyone on the underground train is in a hurry. Huh. Huh. Uh. 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 Wow. Today, Peppa and her family are visiting the arcade. You got a high score. That's because Peppa and I are experts at all of these games. Look at all these tokens, Peppa. If you collect lots of these, you can trade them in for a huge prize. Wow, a prize? Squeak! Look at all these tokens. <laughs> can we play that game next? Of course, Peppa. Mummy Pig is showing Pepper how to play Carrot Bob. She is bobbing the carrots whenever they pop up. Bop! 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 <laughs> Would you both like to have a go? Yes, please! Bop! 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 <laughs> Bop! <laughs> More tokens! Does this mean we can get a really big prize, Daddy? Daddy? <laughs> Daddy Pig is playing the dancing game. Daddy Pig loves dancing. Wow. I'm a bit of an expert at dancing, you know. Your turn, Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Phew, that was fun. But is there a game we can play all together? I know just the game. <laughs> Peppa and her family are playing a balloon game. Whoever fills their balloon with water first wins. Get another high score? Yes, your score was so high that you have all won the jackpot. Now you can trade in all your tokens for a huge prize. Hooray! Let's go! Hello again, Peppa. Here are all our tokens. Can we please have our prize? Of course. With this many tokens, you can get a marvellous, extraordinary, one-of-a-kind pencil. Hooray! A pencil! Peppa loves winning lots of tokens with her family at the arcade. And Peppa really loves her brand new pencil. Whoa! Today, Peppa and George have decided to dress up in Mummy and Daddy Pig's grown-up clothes. Gosh, what are these two grown-ups doing in our bedroom? I'm not a grown-up. I'm Peppa and that is George. Well, you both look very lovely. But why are you wearing our clothes? We want to choose our own clothes today. Whoa! <laughs> well, you do look very grown-up. But I think... I think our clothes might be a bit too big for you. Yes, these are a bit too big. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> these clothes fit much better. Peppa and George have decided to wear their own clothes instead. <laughs> now, you need to make sure you choose the right clothes for the weather. Today, it is very sunny and hot. Oh! <laughs> Do you think those are good clothes for a sunny day? Um, no. They're a bit too hot. And a bit too heavy. 
<laughs> Pepper and George have found some summery clothes to wear. That's much better. Now you also need to choose the right clothes for what you're going to do today. We're going to play group. But first we want to jump in muddy puddles. Puddles! Oh dear. <laughs> Pepper and George aren't wearing the right shoes for jumping in muddy puddles. Do you think you should wear boots instead? I think we should wear boots instead. Ho ho ho! Splendid idea! <laughs> Lovely! Are we ready to go? Almost! I just want to try on a few more things. Bonjour, children! Wow! What beautiful <laughs> outfits you have on Pepper and George! They picked them all by themselves. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> and those boots. If you want to jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots, Madam mm. Gazelle. Of course. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Pepper and George love jumping in muddy puddles. I suppose it is lucky I brought my boots today as well. <laughs> <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Everyone loves 